so we had several people uh, in class last week working on crow. If you weren't in class last week, no big deal. Crow pose is a super fun full body yoga pose uh, that we can work up to no matter what level you are. So here's a little flow. This is your crow homework. So if you take this little, uh, this little series of exercises two or three times a week, um, just run through it a few times, you'll, live it, you'll probably pretty quickly actually see your crow pose start to ramp up a bit. So let's start on our backs, down on the mat. Just hug the knees into the chest as you come down, pull them in tight. Feel the low back release as you do this. Take a turn of the head right to left. And then allow the uh, hands to guide the knees around two or three circles in each direction. Loosening up here, let the right foot come down to the mat, right knee is bent, just give the left knee a big hug in, flex the toes of the left foot as you do, and then switch that out. Left foot steps on the mat, the knee is bent, hug the right knee in, flex the toes of the right foot as you do. We'll switch this out one more time, get a bit deeper this time, hug the left knee in, extend the right leg strong and straight. You can draw the left knee out a bit here. We're finding some mobility in the hip already right here on our back. Give it a hug and then let it come right back down. Hug the right knee in, extend the left leg this time. And just like we did on the other side, find a little bit of movement here. Draw the right knee out a bit and then back in. And then let it come down to the mat. Right away, we're gonna get into our core. Interlace the hands right back behind the head. Draw the knees up to 90 degrees. Let's take just a few old school crunches here is basically what we're doing. But what I'd like you to concentrate on is engaging the abdominal muscles. Press the low back into the mat. When you get up to the very top, maybe even get a little bit shaky up here. That's what you're looking for. We want the core fully engaged. A lot of crow pose is, is gaining that strength in the core. So from here, we're just gonna play a little bit. The shoulders and the head can come back to rest. Palms of the hands can be on the knees. Press the left palm into the left knee. Extend the right arm and the right leg. Get a little hold here. Again, you're pressing low back into the mat. Bring the right palm and the right knee back. Same thing on the left side. Extend the left arm and the left knee and then come right back to center. Let's get one more each side. This time, as you extend the right arm and the right leg, see about coming to a hollow body hold, lifting up, find that exact same shakiness that you found in that old school crunch right up at the top, and then release back all the way back to the, to the center. We'll get left arm and left leg now, and again, come up just a bit. You're pressing low back into the mat as you hover shoulders and head. Get just a bit shaky up there at the top, and then right back to center. We're gonna take it one step further now and take right elbow into right knee. So left foot can come down, left hand can come down. It's all about the right side now. Press the right knee into the right elbow and the elbow back into the knee. You're curling up just a bit here. Again, core, 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 core. From here, you can stay right here if you're getting plenty. If you'd like to turn the heat up a little bit, hey, find that hollow body hold on the left side. Remember, knee pushing into elbow, elbow pushing into knee, and then release, we'll switch it out. So right foot comes down, right palm comes down, left knee, left elbow, press, 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 press. Curl up just a bit, press, 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 press. You're creating your own resistance here. Elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Can you find that hollow body hold on the right side? Hold, release. You're welcome to do a couple more of those on each side if you would like. Hug the knees into the chest. Let's find crow pose right here on our back. So we'll create some muscle memory before we even get up uh, to, uh, on our mats to, uh, to standing. So knees come out, feet press together. Hands press straight up to the ceiling. I'd like you to press the ceiling away from you here. So as you do that, you'll feel the shoulder blades pull away from each other as you hold the weight of the ceiling in the palm of your hands. From here, it's that exact same crunch position. Low body comes up a bit, you're curling up. Knees will find triceps, elbows, as high up as you can get them. And now press, 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 press. Crow pose, create that muscle memory. And then release down. You can take a couple of windshield wipers here, releasing out your core. We'll take three rocks and rolls, and we'll meet up at hands and knees. On that third rock and roll, 
cross the ankles, plant the hands, and come all the way through, shoulders lining over wrists, hips over knees. Let's take a couple of rounds of cat-cat. The inhale lifts the chest and the tailbone, belly is soft and dropping down. Exhale, hollow out the body, pull the belly button to the spine. Moving through now, the breath moves you here, inhaling into cow. Exhale, hollow out, cat. One more time, inhaling and exhaling. Since we are working towards an arm balance, let's get our wrists stretched out. So flipping wrists, fingertips facing back towards you. See how it feels to start. And then if you have the space, a little cat cow here might feel nice. The inhale lifts the chest and the tailbone. The exhale hollows out the body. Flipping wrist back around. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Let's find movement in this down dog now. Inhale, rolling up on the toes. Exhale, shoulders lining up over wrists. Find your plank position. Inhale here. Exhale, take it back. Downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, roll to toes. Exhale, draw the chest forward, shoulders line up over wrist. Take an inhale here. Exhale, down dog. One more time, inhale, rolling up on the toes. Exhale, unwind the body, finding plank. Drop the knees, squeeze the glutes, soften the elbows, open the heart. And then we'll take it back, child's pose. Knees are wide, toes are together, forehead coming all the way down to the mat. Lift the fingertips up just a bit here. Maybe walk them out just a bit. And then allow everything to completely relax for a full breath in and a full breath out. Coming back to hands and knees, tuck the toes, take the hips high, the heels down. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand for a wide runner's lunge here. Plant the left palm to the floor. Inhale, the right arm high, finding the revolve. On the exhale, right fingertips reach back through, straightening out the right leg, rocking back to the right heel. Flex the toes of the right foot as you reach back towards those left toes with the right fingertips. Inhale, unwind. Allow the right arm to come all the way back around, reaching now towards the back of your mat. We'll take a little up and over here. Sh uh, shift all the way to the left palm and the left foot. Keep holding that right foot up and over. Come to a seated position for just a second. And then take it right back up, three-legged dog, inhaling right leg high. On the exhale, right knee to right tricep. Hover, hold. Full breath in. Hold for the breath out. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step the right foot between the hands, spin the left foot flat. Inhale it up, warrior two. Exhale, sink in. Let's take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhaling here. Exhale, windmill the hands down, one either side of the right foot, stepping back, downward facing dog. I'm going to turn and face the other way for that left side. Inhale, right leg, or sorry, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand, sinking into that deep runner's lunge. Press the right palm to the mat. Inhale, the left fingertips high for the revolve. And on the exhale, left fingertips reach through, straightening out the left leg, rocking back towards that left heel, flexing left toes back to you as the left fingertips reach to the right toes. Inhale, unwind us now. It's a big revolve. Take all the weight to the right palm and the right foot. As you heave, hold the left foot up and over. Come to seated for just a second. And then take it back. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, hover, hold. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot between the hands. Spin the right foot flat. Inhale, take it up. Warrior two, left side. Big breath in. Ha, ah, big breath out. Inhaling here. Exhale, windmill the hands, one either side of the left foot. Step it back, down dog. Take the feet wide at the back of the mat. Walk the hands to the feet. Turn the toes out. Drop into your squat. And take a little prize here. And from here, how far you want to go in crow pose is completely up to you. We're playing, just having some fun. So from your squat position, First thing to do is play with taking the body weight onto the hands. So just play with this. Full weight of the body coming onto the hands. Important thing to remember about crow pose. Hands are shoulder width apart, if not slightly wider, depending on the width of your shoulders. You want your hand to be like your foot, having full body weight on each fingertip and throughout the entire surface of your hands. 
So just play with that until you're comfortable taking the shoulders up over the wrists and body weight onto the hands. You can stay and play with that and stay and work this squat. If you're good, from there, we'll start to work into crow pose. Take the feet together and the knees wide. Hand shoulder width, if not slightly wider. Your shoulder blades pull away from each other. Remember, you press the ceiling away from you. Now you're pressing the mat away from you. Take the hips as high as you can get them. High, 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 high. Feet together, knees wide. Elbows bend back towards you. And then you start to place the knees as high as you can get them. I always say, like, play your game. Stuff the knees up into the armpits. They probably won't go that high. But it's a good place to try. If you're uncomfortable with putting them all the way up on triceps, you can also hug knees to the outside. Completely up to you. From there, just begin to play. One foot at a time. You're gaining confidence in your, the strength of your hands, the strength of your arms, the strength of your shoulders. And you remember, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Full activation of the core as you play with balance. From there, maybe floating up in the crow, maybe just taking the time to play. Gaze is just in front, making sure not to crank up the head too much and not to look straight down. If you have any questions about crow pose, please let me know, holler at me, I'd love to help you. Have fun with this. It's, it's, that, it's that balance between taking flight, using your strength, finding your balance, and most of all, having fun.